what is happening everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to another movie review this time it's the tomorrow war starring mr chris pratt now <laughs> it was actually not a bad movie now uh, i know you'll you look around and everybody's like this is this this is that it's not good honestly it's a really enjoyable movie is it a great movie? Not at all. Is it a one-time watch? Yes, you're not going to watch it again. It's not something. It does not have the rewatchability that, you know, the Independence Day, Armageddon, other movies like this, in a sense, where it's like, you know, stupid decisions, stupid stuff going on, but you just have so much fun. It's not like that, but for that one-time watch, you don't feel like it wasted your time. There actually is a really interesting storyline in there. I'm going to stay away from spoilers because uh, I do think you should check it out. Um, but there is definitely a heart in this movie. It's not just like stuff has been put together for the sake of a movie and you're like, oh, we'll just release it over the, the long weekend. No, you actually can tell that they actually put together a movie with some heart, with characters, and characters that actually have some good dialogue and they actually talk and you have these characters getting together and they're talking about different things. There's actually a considerably, considerably long sequence of these two characters, Chris Pratt, and then there's someone he actually met in the future. And you actually feel that you know like they were trying to go for something that will stick with you even after you finish the movie the action is actually really good it's super intense um the aliens i loved i really loved the aliens i mean they were hardcore <laughs> is the word i'm gonna use for it they they were going for it oh like they they did not see they did not take any prisoners, man. They will go for you. you know, it's, it was those kind of aliens. The only thing, though, with that was that because there's no other story behind the aliens, where they're from, or what's going on, you don't really get that fear from the aliens. Is that, like, in a sense, yes, they're scary, but that global catastrophe and the global shit just that's happening you don't feel that you don't feel that because really from the trailer though it was kind of like oh this is gonna be a global thing the movie is actually very linear it's only following a certain amount of characters and that's it you don't really see what's going on around the world so there is that. I do wish there was a more of a global presence uh, to the movie, whereas like you know, you actually see the world and how is it being affected by this alien attack. You won't really see that. And uh, the other thing I actually am going to go on the good side is that there are not a lot of characters. Usually in movies like this, if you remember even uh, Battle Los Angeles there was this like thing about like so many characters in there and you know you're like okay this is gonna die now he's gonna die now she's gonna die now and you go in numbers here you didn't feel like that in the first act though they actually got rid of it anything that it was in the trailer and you were guessing that actually happens most of it in the first act whereas like the second and third act you're like okay then what is left to do so that's where like the human characters and the story more, takes more of a place and then you have the finale. Uh, finale, I obviously, it was enjoyable and it does leave you in a way where it's like they can do a sequel if they like and if they don't want, they can finish it off. And it's, it's kind of that kind of an ending. So I liked it. I liked it in the way that you can start guessing what actually happened and where the story can go so there are things they can do definitely if they want to make this into a franchise i think they can definitely make it happen because the aliens actually in their actual form and if like the physicality 
I actually loved the way they moved, the whole aspect of them. I actually really enjoyed. So I would love to know more of a backstory to it. Uh, the characters were, you know, good. Chris Pratt, the other supporting cast, was actually like interesting to watch. The dialogue never, I actually never found dumb. So hearing that this movie is such a disappointment, I don't think so. I think it's it's being like criticized so much because it's like, oh, it's stupid, stupid decisions and all. Well, the Armageddon and as I said, Independence Day, like there's stupid decisions in all of those movies, Battle Los Angeles. So for a one-time watch, it's a good movie and you can, it's, you know, watch it. It's not something you want to watch but you can definitely watch it again if you're like ah, i'm gonna do something i need something uh, on the side here I'm just gonna put it on you this is the movie you can do it it's not something you can you have to worry about a lot uh good action characters talking there's a bit drama in there but not too overloaded so i give it a perfect 6.5 out of 10 i do think it's a enjoyable movie and that's what literally it is that's what i thought it would be and it came out literally that i did not have really high expectations i did not really have any like lower expectations i was right there it didn't really touch the seven mark which is you know like it's a good good movie but it's right there it's not a bad movie it's not a meh movie but it's not quite that great or so so perfect for a one-time watch so if you watched it please a uh, leave a comment below let me know and other than that i want to say thank you for watching thanks for all the support if you like this review there are a whole lot of others on the channel please go have a watch and yeah other than that take it easy take care and i will catch you all soon until then ta-ta take care